How strange to think of the lake of lava empty. I do not know what we may find in there, Toa, but it is vital that we beat the Paraka to it. Climb to the bottom of the lake and see what you find. Report your findings to Dalu at the fortress and we'll plan what to do next. Okay, welcome back everybody, I'm Biochemist 6, also known as Harold, and welcome to what I'm hoping to be the final episode of the finale of Voyanui Online Game. So let's get going. Let's see, we talked to Garan already, and he wants us to go and go to the Lake of Lava, which is now hopefully drained, it should be, and then we're going to go talk to Dalu, I guess. Try to open the chamber of secrets. That's probably a chamber of life. That in its chamber of life. Okay. And then it's gonna be our final boss battle. Which is actually really, really fun. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Oh well. Okay. Instant crit. Don't waste all of those already. We need to save up on those. Doesn't matter if we don't get any right now. Ah! Oh, wow. And why are the Rahi in there? Were they just swimming in the lava? I don't know. I figured, well, we gotta put something in there. Okay, how do we get down there? Gotta be a staircase around here somewhere. I know there is. Aha! We don't want trouble. Just want to s go find the entrance to the cave. Can we get in? A strange mechanism with three holes blocks the door. Oh no! Oh, time to talk to Dalu. We're gonna talk to Dalu, and Dalu's gonna send us on some quest errands to go have me do something, find three stones probably, or crystals of some sort, to fit inside the door, which will probably be on different sides of the island, to be honest. And then, we're free, and we get out of here. Well, we don't get out of here, we go in there. And then we have the boss battles and whatnot. And we'll probably have to talk to Gran at some point right before and he'll try to psych us up. And he'll be like, good, oh, you don't have to do this till, you know, it's crazy, you shouldn't do this. Probably come with us or something. And then, you know, we'll go and defeat them pretty easily, I should expect. I mean, there might be a little bit of challenge with actual, the actual final boss, but, uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Ah. <sighs> Favorite Matorn? Not really. Dalu's a rather annoying Matorn. As a Matorn come, they're all pretty annoying, but Dalu's pretty annoying. Second only, to probably Garan. And maybe Perug. Depends on the day for Perug. So you finally found the entrance? What? Locked? It seems you need three keys. Hmm. The old legend does say something about three stones with elemental power. We didn't think of collecting them before finding the entrance. That would be silly. I don't know where you can find them, but I'm afraid the delay may grant the proc a time that we cannot afford. Go quickly, Toa! Yeah, gee, thanks. Well, three stones, eh? Let's see where she told me to go to key one, go to key. Okay. Ah, oh, what did I tell you? One's practically where Garan is. Key one, key two. Okay. Not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. At least nothing on the southern rim. Ugh, that would have been obnoxious. Hey, should we go and beat the lava ape? The lava ape dude that uh, we were so worried about a long time ago? Blocking lava ape. Come on. Come on, bro. Fight him. We got this. Oh, he is going to die. Oh, that's a shame. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Two turns. Absolutely destroyed. Ah, oh, man. 
That was pretty awesome. This is a rock pile that didn't have anything in it a long time ago. It has the elemental stone of birth. Interesting. Ha! Elemental stone of groan. Stone of groan. Oh, that's cool. Stone of death. Oh my. Elemental stone. The element of death. Oh wow. What do they look like? <laughs> Uh, let's see, that's just a water shard. Stone of Groan is green, of course. Stone of Birth is, like, white and sparkly. Stone of Death is a deep purple. Down we go. To the lake of lava. And deeper. We're here. But so is that interfering Toa. Well... You won't thwart our plans for the mask of this time, Toa. Soon, its power will be ours. But first, let's play together. Okay, strategy time. So first of all, what we really want to do is uh, change up our pack so that the weapons and equipment that we're using will be really beneficial to us. Now the Parakophyte is not exceedingly difficult if you're high enough level and you have good weapons. Um, but especially if you're fighting Hakan, you want to spread this out so that you can go for a longer fight. Because when we actually fight Vison, it's very quick and very short. So when we start and we, um, we fight, what you want to do is you want to single them out and fight Try to fight each one of them individually, as best you can. Now, I suggest, for when you're fighting the proc, I suggest that you have a type of Talon weapon, a Harpoon, because it has unlimited ammo uh, uses, and it actually does quite a bit of damage, and also draws the proc towards you. So, when you're fighting them, um, and they start walking away, maybe to go get their other Paraka friends to come into the fight, you can drag them away and have them fight you instead, which is really useful. Uh, I'll, I also suggest uh, a health stone. This can be useful, especially if you're lower tier. If you can run away and sort of hide for a little bit, you can heal yourself up repeatedly with like a life stone as opposed to a soul stone, which will only do... Uh, a soul stone, is, the advantage is that it gives you some health, um, and it's really, really low cost, but it's only one use. So, you want to move fast when you're fighting these Baraka. The longer you have them stay alive, the harder it's going to get. But be prepared for a longer fight. Each of the Baraka also have different advantages and disadvantages when you're fighting them. Thok has really low life, but when he gets going, he can be quite difficult. Uh, well, especially for his actual battle, because he can animate things. I don't think he can in here. Redox pretty tough. He's pretty resilient. And does a fair amount of damage. He doesn't seem to prefer long range, though. He seems to prefer going up to your face and doing a bit of melee. So keep him close, and have high enough defense that you can take him out. He's not too bad. He doesn't seem to ha do much in the way of special attacks or stuff that happens. Okay. Now notice that there are five Paraka that you have to face in the first. We'll get to Zac-10 later. He will appear later on. Okay, now we've got an, uh, a fight with Avok. And we want to keep him away from his friends. And it helps if we can actually hit him instead of missing. Now Avok 
prefers range. But he prefers range because he has some heavy knockback. So when you um, attack him, keep that in mind. He does like a, a double hit with melee, and then his, his range is more powerful and does quite a bit of knockback. But he doesn't have a lot of life. Now, Vezok can be tricky. I don't have too much trouble with Vezok. But he can be tricky if you prolong the fight too much. He has the special ability where he absorbs your elemental ability. And then I think hits you with it, I believe. I've never really had prolonged his fight long enough to really find out. Okay. And if possible, try to save Hakan f for the last. Try to take out each of the Paraka one by one, and leave Hakan. Hakan likes to stay in the towards the rear, so that makes it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so now for Hakan's fight. We fought Hakan before. It's a pretty long fight, but it can be quite quite fun um, if you let it be. But um, things to deal with Hakan is that he does do a ranged attack. He has quite a high AP, so he can hit you a bunch of times. If he is right up next to you, he will hit you three times with fire damage. Now this is mainly the reason that I chose to be Jawler, was simply because of Hakan. Because um, when you're a fire element, you have really good advantages and um, resistances to fire. And that comes really in handy when you're fighting Hakan, because he can hit you a ton of times and does minimal damage. There are, of course, times when he can crit you, but it, they're rare. Um, you have to keep track of Hakan's mental blasts, because those can be unpredictable and supposedly dangerous. I've never run across them, but if I would uh, take him more damage, if I wasn't Jawler, say, then I would definitely want to avoid him for that. So it tells you when he's gearing up, powering up for the Mental Blast, and then he will attack you and do an AoE attack.
Okay, this is Vizon's fight. This is the big league right here. This is the biggest battle in the entire game. It's the hardest one. Vizon is a beast at doing damage. He also takes quite a bit of damage. He's not as tough as Hakan or some of the others, but he is a beast at doing damage. He hits hard. So you need to be ready. Critical hits come into play a lot in this one. So let's initiate a battle. Start off with doing some range because he can't move extremely far. He can move fast, but it's not extraordinary. So start off by trying to get some range on him before he gets you. Because when he gets you, there's no escape. Already he can sap attack points and movement points, making it a lot harder. Now what I suggest for your lineup for this one is have a shredder type weapon and have a talon type weapon. This is my favorite set of weapons to use. It's up to you. But I have technique high enough that criticals are really, really important. Because I can hit him. Every one out of three hits with my talent will be a critical. And every now and then I'll get a critical with my shredder, which is very important because it'll do a lot of damage. And he is just continually draining my life. So I have to move fast here. This is why I suggest a soul stone as opposed to a life stone, because you don't have time or AP to use a life stone. He can just drain too much. Life is ours. We defeated Vizon. It's over. Woo! We won. We beat the final boss. We did it, everybody. We did it. Let's check out that glorious, glorious gold mask. Put it on, of course. Please, Please Zach Chan. It's, it's over. over. The mask, the mask of life has lent me its power. power. Surrender. Surrender. So Zach Tan can be tough. He hits a lot. He can, if you go long enough, he can hit you a ton in swarm mode, but it's a really short fight because we have the mask of life. So, yeah. Suddenly, we are teleported to Grand's cave. What? Suddenly a teleport? What? <gasps> Discuss with Garan. What? What is this? Alright, fair enough. Is that the mask of life? Incredible, Toa. You've done it. With the Proca defeated and the Matoran freed, Voya Nui will at last be restored to peace. Thank you, my friend. May you use the mask wisely and well, and may Mata Nui be rescued from darkness. Good luck, 
in all your adventures to come. And good luck to you, Garan. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. And Moyanui is finally free. The Matoran are free to choose their own destiny, to seek their own duty, and join together in unity. They are free to return to their homes that they left under the slavery of the Karaka. They return to free and tame the island of Wainui, to live life to their fullest potential. Thank you, Toa. It's the end. The Mask of Life is finally in your hand. But for how long? The saga is far from over, and new dangers wait in the deep. Okay, well thank you everyone for watching. It's been a huge pleasure to do Voyanui online game with you guys. It's been very fun. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry that I, I did skip to the end, but it's because I wanted to compact all the, the fun stuff of Voinui. And there were some a couple parts that I, I considered doing, just like boss battles with the Baraka, um, which I could have done, but it also would have extended the time and made it a lot of things difficult. Because Voinui is a very, very fun game, but it's either very long or, you know, there's a lot of editing because you're clipping down time. So, you know, I wanted to, you know, not kill off this series by adding tons and tons of episodes and then, you know, there's just nothing happening. But I wanted to make it fun. So I decided I made a uh, tactical decision that I should just skip to the end, do all the fun things so I can end off this series. There isn't really a ton that you honestly missed. There are a couple of boss battles, a couple, there's a lot of quests, which are mainly monotonous. There's not a whole ton. Uh, that's story based or really important that you really miss. Mainly the end, which is really cool and very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very fun series. I re actually really like uh, Voyanui Online Game. It's a very fun game. And you guys should check it out sometime at uh, Biomedia Project. Um, concluding this series, uh, probably going to go on and try to finish off uh, Glitorian Arena 3. Um, but yeah, incredibly fun. And so, we've liberated the island of Voyanui. We have the Mask of Life. Toe holidays. Take vacation before your next adventure. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> ah. But now... Renui is free, and the mask has continued on its own path down into the depths. So thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. Until then, see you later, lads.